Help could be on the way from Washington for those struggling financially. Senate Republicans are now proposing a massive economic stimulus bill to fight the coronavirus fallout. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol now with all the details. Susan? Dennis, Senate Republicans in Washington are pushing hard for some type of a federal stimulus package, and that really pretty much includes cash payments to individuals. But some say it's just a Band-Aid, and critics say a lot more is needed if this country is to avoid an economic collapse. There are some industries that are hiring during the coronavirus pandemic. The Postal Service needs more workers. And now that people are buying more things online, Amazon can't fill orders fast enough. They're also looking for people, but they seem to be the exceptions. Bars, restaurants, and just about every service type of business is now closed, and many employees are not getting paid. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has released a massive economic stimulus bill. Here's how it would work. Adults would get $1,200, and every child would get $500. Families who filed their taxes jointly would get a total of $2,400. But there are income guidelines. Those making 75000 or more would get less, and those making 99000 or more would not be eligible. Some of the poorest families with no federal tax liability would get 600 Many details are still being worked out. Fred McKinney, an economist who teaches entrepreneurship at Quinnipiac University, says it's a start but falls short of what's needed. We cannot assume business as usual. McKinney says what's really needed is what he calls a holiday on fixed costs. Those who are not getting paid would not have to pay rent, utilities, bank loans, auto loans and insurance temporarily until they start working again. This is a different type of economic war that we've never faced. And so far, I'm concerned that the policymakers are focusing on things that were used in the past, perhaps effectively, but are not going to be effective in this crisis. Governor Lamont says he and legislators are working now to put together an economic stimulus package, but here's where things get strange because of the coronavirus. Normally, legislators would go back into the state capitol and vote, but because of the restrictions with large events, they would have to do this in shifts, which is very unlikely. But the governor now has new powers, and he could use his executive powers to approve any type of stimulus package. We are live at the state capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.